And non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is one of the most common cancers. One in 43 men and one in 53 women will be diagnosed with it. There are more than 60 subtypes of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, or NHL. Now the FDA has approved a new treatment for one of the most common types. Maureen Halliday shares the details. And this is Logan. Renee Benson has been raising tortoises for decades. Speedy is his name. He, when we got him, they told us he was 50 years old and I've had him for over 40. They make her happy and that's important after the rough few years she's had. I had swollen glands and at the time my husband had been diagnosed with heart failure. And so I just well, didn't want to say anything. Really then one day I was doing my hair and there was a lump on, on right here on my arm. Diagnosed with follicular lymphoma or FL, form of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma affecting the body's immune B cells. Renee underwent four different immunotherapy trials. Everyone was successful in the beginning. But all failed in the end. Then a new trial led by City of Hope's hematologist Elizabeth Buddy became available. Renee was one of the first patients to sign up for the new bispecific antibody treatment. It really grabs the T-cells and redirects the T-cells to the neighborhood of the lymphoma cells. Mosunet Zumab is given intravenously for eight cycles. Now they are able to see the target, you know, direct them to the target. So the uh, T-cells are activated and they killed up the targets as directed. In the trial, 80% of patients responded to treatment. 60% are in complete remission. Look, at they're just sweet and look how cute. <laughs> I'm Maureen Halliday reporting. The FDA has given accelerated approval to mosinotuzumab for patients experiencing relapsed follicular lymphoma. Ongoing clinical trials are exploring its application as an injectable treatment either at an earlier stage in the therapeutic process or in a combination with other medications.